The late 90s for a PlayStation was something to behold. It was colorful and bold. Thankfully, we're seeing a revival of that era nowadays. But let's not get too off topic. A franchise I came across while researching Parappa two years ago. Ouch! Was Ape Escape, a platform game on the PlayStation dated back to 1999. These cute little apes got tons of marketable plushies, as well as other pieces of merchandise we'll discuss and showcase in this video. Time to go bananas for Ape Escape merchandise! The first Ape Escape released in 1999 on the first PlayStation, and of course, guidebooks were published. Here is the first one published in Japan, and the self-proclaimed perfect one. The English guide was published by Dimension Publishing. Pre-order bonus? The owner of the barrel of toys, or monkeys, doesn't know where this originated from. What I can't tell by looking at it is that it was a North American promo, judging by the art around the barrel. What's inside is unknown, but likely monkeys. This is a fake air charm of one of the monkeys by Run A, I believe, according to the logo there. It's super cute with a leaf and yellow strap. By the same company is this 21 inch Peepo Monkey Plush. A bunch of stickers in one bag. It's all of the monkeys from Ape Escape. The bag claims to have seal chips. Whatever that is. I adore this cute puppet. So cute, look at it! It's by Taito, and was likely one in the UFO capture machine. Same with this cutie. From 1999 to 2000, the Ape Escape monkeys would get a few releases as plushes. An underlay? Huh. This is used for flooring or roofing materials, bed padding, or in musical notation. Crazy! You learn something new every day! By Ben Presto are these keychains of various people monkeys likely won in UFO catcher machines. They come in these boxes likely to protect them when they fall from the machine. Ape Escape 2001 edition, and there's a guidebook from Japan. Oh yeah, in Japan there was a McDonald's promotion for not just Ape Escape, but Parappa, Toro, and Chocobo. The Ape Escape toys are the keychain that comes with the aforementioned characters. A backpack hanger, a plush cleaner, and a Saru Gitchu card. I wish fast food promotions were this ambitious nowadays. This sticker is for PS2 memory cards. What for? Decoration, and some memory cards at the time can only hold one or two games at a time, depending on how much space it took. Speaking of stickers, Here's some featuring the Peepo Monkeys, Toro, and Ratchet and Clank, likely featured in a Japanese magazine. By SCE are these keychains and bone straps of various Peepo Monkeys. I love how creative they are, and you have a catcher machine for these guys, or in total. Ape Escape 2, and of course, there's a guidebook in Japanese. An actual Ape Escape themed memory card, also Japanese exclusive. These are stickers that promote Ape Escape 1 and 2, while these are themed after Ape Escape 2, likely found in a gaming magazine. This phone strap comes in pink, yellow, and blue with some cute monkeys. The first CD soundtrack for Ape Escape, Shenzhen Monkeys with only three songs in Japanese. By Ben Presto is this Peepo Monkey plush, and each one comes in a net-like bag. According to the tag, there are seven to collect. This keychain has two monkeys with a brown, green, and yellow strap. Modified Menko Battle Bane Bane is an Ape Escape card game exclusive to Japan. Not sure how you play, but there are booster packs with a random assortment of cards. Exclusive to Japan, yet again, are these blind box figures of various Ape Escape characters released in 2004 in two series. At the Raving Toy Manic Toy Fair, BMA Toys showcased their line of Ape Escape 2 figures. This is what they've had to say. The Ape Escape 2 figures will be sold in two packs and should be available in stores in June 2004. Two interesting things of note which add to their play value are 1. Many will come with suction cups so that they can be displayed on windows or monitors. And 2. They have peg holes in their feet which are compatible with the leading brand of building blocks. Entertainment Earth had a list in for a case of these figures, but they were cancelled. Other figures include these Lego looking figures that came in blind boxes, Japanese only. Pumped and Primed is the next game, and these shirts were promos for said game. Another sticker for your memory card, and a memo pad, 
collaborated with Toro the Cat. Ape Escape on the loose, and we have this wonderful guidebook. Ape Escape 3, and we have, yep, a guidebook. Number 1, and the perfect one. There's also these bone strap figures that came in blind bags. Get your million monkeys, and there's a guidebook exclusive to Japan. Ape Quest, and we have these shaking head plushes. Gotcha. They approve of this video, and of you liking this video, as well as subscribing and sharing my content. Please! Ape Escape with PlayStation Move, and these buttons were promos, along with these clear files. During the same year, Ape Escape Originate Soundtrack on released on CD. Two years later, the third game would get a CD soundtrack. 2019 was the 20th anniversary for Ape Escape, and Furio made these plushes of the monkeys. A big one, and three small ones. Fan Gamer would also celebrate with their own line of Ape Escape merch, like a Monkey Park shirt with a bonus sticker, Monkey Pin, and Spectre Coin. In 2020, Hot Topic sold this Pip Monkey shirt. These can badges are of unknown origin, but they look like they'd be fairly new along with this bento box. These random assortment of items like acrylic stands, tape cutters, a pass holder, and pen case. This postable keychain is of unknown origin, but likely from the early 2000s. Ape Escape sponsored by Subaru? I cannot find anything about this, but these are sandals, the Ape Escape, and Subaru branding. If you know anything about these, let me know in the comments! I'm not lazy! I swear! I don't know about you guys, but I'd love to see Ape Escape return either as remakes or a brand new game. These little monkeys have charm and we'd love to catch them in this era. Maybe get new merchandise. It'd be cool to see Jax create figures of PlayStation icons, much like Nintendo and Sega. It can happen. Let them hear our voices. We'll go bananas if we must.